Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be uh, showing you some things. Showing you something that I'm not sure anybody else on the planet besides myself knows about and all the permutations that they're in. So what if I told you that the only thing you needed to make the full Dragoonity combo happen, the entire, like, most optimal board, even, like, arguably more optimal than previous boards I've shown you, was achievable off of this boy. This boy alone. This one. This, this little lad. Dragoonity Ducks. Normal Summon Ducks activate effect to equip a Tuner Engrave. What if I told you that the only thing you needed was this? Would you believe me? I'd hope so. Otherwise, why are you here? Now, what I'm going to be showing you is a lot of different combo variations and permutations in this video, just like I did in the last one with Sinidus. Um, I'm going to be showing you those with Ducks this time, because Ducks really opens up a whole new door of what you can do in terms of how combos can be structured, while also staying very much the same. In terms of the ending boards are going to be very much identical to what we were doing before, although improved in certain areas. Goliath Lechery, standard what I've been doing. And then at least two negates and maybe even one extra form of interaction is what I'm going to be showing you in all the combos and permutations involving our best boy here, Dragoonity Ducks. Truly the most powerful normal summon in the deck. Now, other people have made some Ducks combos uh, utilizing the same cards I'm going to be showing you, which are at their heart, you know, Ravine Phalanx plus random discard combos. At their heart, their true, like, condensed medium. Uh, and they've done things like adding Spell Canceler from deck to hand, even though the... The deck plays a Morphage Lechery, which is searchable, and they play like six Garnets in their deck in order to make that play possible. Listen, I give I give that play points for uniqueness, but being unique does not mean it's better. <laughs> so, allow me to show you what we're going to be messing with here. The first combo I'm going to show you is the most standard form, uh, and it is just the best two-card combo in the game. It is Ravine plus Phalanx plus any random discard. Uh, this is the exact same starting combination you may have seen other people's use. Um, like, it's just, it's very, very simple. It's very, uh, easy to deal with. Now, unlike th the other people's versions, though, this can be expanded upon through other permutations. Like, other combos wouldn't work if you opened Ravine Coos. I'm going to show you how this combo does work and has a slight modification if you do open Ravine Coos. Uh, the combo does change. The ending board is affected slightly, but not very majorly. Uh, and then the combo can be corrected, it's through, uh, its course can be corrected through other factors, like an extender, or differencing, differences in how you open the combo, and stuff like that, right? Clearly. Uh, but anyway, basically what I'm going to be showing you is this, so I'm going to be showing you a lot of information, so I need to get my ass in gear, effectively. Uh, so, Ravine Phalanx, literally best combo in the deck. Nothing we can say otherwise. You're going to Ravine, discard the Phalanx, add Ducks, you're going to normal summon ducks and declare the effect. The game is now over. Effectively. So ducks equipping phalanx here. You're going to special the phalanx and you're going to synchro six into our amazing, amazing utilitary card, Gaydog. Using Gaydog, adding baby rock, a staple in almost all the combos, and then discarding baby rock, its effect triggers, which summons itself. Then you're going to link these two into Dragoonity Knight Romulus which is going to trigger its effect to search the most important new card that we got from the new structure deck, Dragoonity Glow. This card allows all the combos to be possible because it allows you to minimize the Garnets. It allows, you, it allows your deck building to be better. Uh, and it allows the combos to function in ways that are not hindered by things such as Garnets, erratas of important cards like Darkness Metal Dragon, which we no longer have to run, all that sort of stuff. But so Glow is going to add Mistleton from deck to hand. And then you're going to tribute the Dragoonity Knight Romulus to special summon the Mistleton. Mistleton is going to use its effect to equip Gaiderg, and then you're going to use Glow's effect engrave, banishing the Glow to special the Gaiderg in defense position, using Gaiderg's effect, adding Zephyros, discarding Zephyros. This should all look very, very familiar. If this doesn't look familiar and this doesn't like sink in that like easily to you, then you need to understand that this is the fundamental of every Dragoonity combo, whether it starts with Ducks or whether it starts with Sinidus. This is the fundamental. We're going to be deviating from it in a different way because we're using ducks, and there's even more ways you can deviate. I'm just not going the route of gimmicky stuff like some more infinite negates. Uh, but like, this is this is something that can be expanded upon. But I think that this is very good for what it is, which is a uh, combo that contains no natural garnets in your deck because every card is usable whether you draw it or not. 
uh, and has multiple ways to be melded into other variable forms and uh, also works in, you know, almost hand-in-hand -hand with the Synodus combos, and it doesn't use your entire extra deck. It only uses 11 cards. All the combos that I've been coming up with seem to use 11 cards. I don't understand. Uh, but anyway, so you're going to summon a Tum, you're going to attach the Mistleton, and you're going to special summon the Leviton from your deck, Dragoonie Arma Leviton. And then Leviton here is going to equip Phalanx, and then Phalanx is going to special summon itself. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Zephyros to bounce Ravine. So Ravine is kind of, you know, necessary for these combos to happen. Well, not necessarily necessary. It's necessary to get, like, the best results the easiest ways. But also, if you were to open, like, Dragon Shrine for Dark Worm uh, for Gate Zero, like, you just basically need a throwaway card that you can bounce with uh, Zephyros. You could also just have any extender that you extend into the play. Uh, and then that would allow you to have the extra monster on board required to bounce the monster with Zephyros instead of Ravine, and then Ravine is not needed. Um, it does affect ending boards, obviously, but all of your ending boards should be getting to minimum two negates, Goliath, Lechery. Um, truly the thing that like varies uh, based off what you open is uh, whether or not you get the Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres on the ending board or not, but we'll get there. Anyway, so you bounce Ravine with Zephyros, you're going to activate the Ravine, and you're going to use Ravine, you're going to um, discard this, and you're going to add a copy of Dragoonity Remus from deck to hand. That's where the random discard comes into play. It truly doesn't matter what the card is. You're just discarding it to add a copy of Dragoonity Remus from deck to hand. Now, if you already started the combo with Remus, uh, like Remus discarding for Ravine, which is a likely uh, scenario. One that fixes the Coos combo, but I'll get to that later. Uh, but in this combo, like you don't need to add this. You could just add another tuner. Um, or add something like Legatus, or add another Ducks for like follow-up turn or something. It just truly depends. Like I'm just showing you this is not in an isolated state, right? And I need to hurry so that I can actually get through everything I need to show you. But anyway, linking a Tum and the Tuner off into the only like truly like oh I can't believe you're using that card of the entire combo sequence, which is Christron Hauk Fibrax, aka Christron Needle Fiber. This card makes all the ducks combos very, very good because you're not locked into dragons during most of them. Meaning that the fact that Synodus gives you the extra tuner up front where ducks doesn't gets equalized by being able to go into Christron Needle Fiber. Also, in the Synodus combos, most of them you end up throwing away a link two that does nothing just to you know facilitate proper link zones for guard dragon arrows. This one is a throwaway link too, but it's also going to get us an extender on top of that. It's going to extend play further, so it's not even a throwaway link two anymore. Meaning that the combos are allowed to be a lot more contained, and that's why this combo is literally just normal summon ducks with no other like necessary factors in hand. Whereas all the Citadus combos that get to Goliath Lechery have to have like an extender of some form. Just Synodus Tuner doesn't get you all the way there because you have to throw away too many resources. Where in the Ducks combos, you're not throwing away any resources, you're building upon the resources by stepping up into different extenders. So anyway, you're going to summon Needle Fiber, you're going to use Needle Fiber's effect, and that's going to summon Dragoonity Coos from our deck. And then we're going to be able to Synchro with the Coos and the Zephyros into Dragoonity Knight Barka. Now Barka on summon is going to be able to equip two tuners, and then it's going to be able to equip the Mistleton that is in our graveyard. Uh, to the Barco. We're doing this so that we can use the Leviton effect later, obviously. Then we're going to special summon both tuners, special summon the Flanks and the Coos to these zones, and then you're going to use the Coos to make the Guard Dragon Pisty, and then you're going to use the Leviton that's just chilling on the board with the Needle Fiber to make Triple Burst Dragon. So now we have the zones for the Guard Dragon stuff to start happening, and now the combo should look similar to what I've shown you before. Pisty effect is going to be used to bring back the Gaederg, and then Gaederg's effect here is going to be used to add a Morphage Lechery from deck to hand and discard Remus. Now, Remus is specifically the card I added because it's going to give us the extra card we need to end on the board we want to end on without having to go up through something like Darkness Metal Link, uh, which locks us out of making something like Heavenly Spheres. It makes our board actively worse, although it makes um, it like just a good thing to end on. But we want to end on more things, right? Anyway. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to synchro the Phalanx and the Gate Egg that has been used into Borload Savage Dragon. And then Savage Dragon's effect is going to equip one of our two Links in Grave. We only have two Links in Grave. We have Christian Hauka Fibrax and Dragoonity Knight Romulus. I always equip the Romulus because it's two negates regardless. It's two negation counters. Uh, and the only difference in attack that the Needle Fiber would give you 
is a 150 more than what the Romulus gives, because Romulus is 12, Needle Fiber is 15. And that's, like, not relevant. The extra attack isn't super relevant compared to what this allows now. Uh, at any point in the future, I'm capable of banishing this Boreload Savage Dragon as long as it's still equipped with Romulus, even if it has no negates on it. If I've, like, used both negates and it still just exists here with Romulus on it, I can banish this for Leviton because this is a Dragoonity card. Uh, so, like, it just gives better follow-through and better follow-up, right? But anyway, carrying on, we're going to banish the Barka that is equipped with the Mistleton. We're going to special summon the Leviton from Grave. And then Leviton's effect is going to equip Phalanx. And then we get to special the Phalanx, and we get to sync with the Leviton into the Dragoon at Arid Bear. Now, what's going on here? We don't have the LP yet. Well, we're going to get that. That's what the Remus is for. <laughs> anyway, so Remus saved best for last. Gets to special summon itself, and then we get to link it off into LP underneath this triple burst, so it points to this zone, and then we get to link the triple burst and the guard dragon Pisty away into Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres, which shares a link arrow with LP. We get to use LP for a Morphage Goliath, and then we get to play Lechery. So, this is an objectively like better combo than what we've done before by uh, a lot of for a lot of reasons uh first and foremost like we we have goliath lechery and we only truly committed like one card to the play this play started with normal summon ducks ravine phalanx normal summon ducks we committed the ducks to the play yes we needed a discard along the way but that discard could have literally been anything and in some instances you don't even need that discard depending on what your hand is right if your hand already has lechery you don't need the discard for it because you're already there um, and it can be extended through various different forms. It could be something you open cards of consonants into, meaning you have more tuners engraved naturally, meaning that you don't have to extend the play, uh, in that way versus another. Um, you could even extend this play to the point where, like, you could have Crystal Wing here as well. Um, like, it's actually possible for your board to be Crystal Wing, Savage, a Reed Bear, uh, uh, Spheres, Goliath, Lechery, with this LP here. Because, like, the LP is the last thing you make, and it's made off, like, Remus, just a random throwaway card that comes back. Meaning you have the two spaces to sink or open to Crystal Wing. So, like, that's something that's easily possible. And what's cool about this is that you've got the Spheres for a bounce, and they can also do something like Summon Tempest from your deck, which means that's a free tribute away for Lechery to keep Lechery live. Uh, you could summon, like, Dragoon Armor Gram for the same reason if you wanted to play that card. Uh, it truly just, like makes it a lot more potent. The Ducks combos truly are the ones with the better follow-through than any of the Synodus combos because of your ability to simply step through Needle Fiber. It is truly just that. Just being able to summon one Needle Fiber in the midst of all of this dragon nonsense really makes a lot of difference. But I need to clean this up, and I need to show you how it gets modified for Coos, and then also need to, you know, I'll build in the way that it's uh, done with Remus as well, all right? Okay, so just so I can pack more information into one instance of performing the combo, I'm going to be opening with Remus plus Coos, because Remus is what fixes fixes the Coos opener. You can open Ravine plus Coos, and that's what I'm going to show you first, but just because I already have access to Remus, I'm going to show you both of the ways that it gets ended, uh, because like the, the Remus version uh, just it changes the way the back end is performed, obviously. Uh, because it's just an extra extender on the back end. Uh, but basically, for, for all intents and purposes, this is Ravine Coos discard, because it does get affected by the fact that this isn't Phalanx. But I am going to be starting with, with Remus, you know, adding Ravine, just because I can show you both ending boards at the same time. Clear? Understood? Good. Alright, so Remus effect for Ravine, right? I mean, not important. This is Ravine Coos, and I'm going to show you what happens with Remus later. So, Ravine, discard Coos add ducks this combo plays out a little bit differently because of the fact that we don't have access to phalanx early on and that does change how we need to do things because if we only have access to coos we can't make Borload savage dragon or crystal wing we can only make a reed bear as far as one of our ending oppressive synchro monsters so ducks effect for coos coos special itself this should look very familiar synchro up into gaiderg gaiderg effect add baby rock discard baby rock special summon baby rock with its own effect link these two into dragoonity knight Romulus, Romulus effect for Dragoonity Glow, Glow effect to add Mistleton from deck to hand, right? This is all the same, you should be easy to follow this. 
If this is hard, then you really need to understand the Fundals of Dragoonity before you try to go any further. You need to memorize this. This is the basic, fundamental. Every combo you do should start looking something like this. Mistleton Effect for Gaiderg. And then uh, Glow Banish for the Gaiderg to be summoned. Gaiderg Effect, add Zephyros, discard Zephyros, make a Tum with these two. Right? All this should look very, 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 very similar. Uh, but we're going to get to the point where it changes soon. So, Leviton Effect for the Coos that is in our grave. And then Coos Effect Special. And then Bounce Ravine for Zephyros. And then we have to make the Needle Fiber here. So we have to make Needle Fiber with uh, the Atum and the Coos. The fact that we don't have access to Phalanx is what changes the way this combo is done. Because we can't really get Phalanx here, because if we got Phalanx here then we wouldn't be able to make Barca, meaning that our combo kind of, you know, loses some of its oomph. But Needle Fiber here into Phalanx, well not Phalanx, I'm stupid, I'm being dumb. Pardon me, I literally just said why we can't get Phalanx, and then there's just a Phalanx on top of my deck, and I just rolled with it. I didn't set this one up as optimally as I should have. You get a second copy of Coos, <laughs> because you need to make the Barca. We're going to get access to the Phalanx later. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to sink the, the Coos and the Zephyros away into the Barca. And then you're going to use Barca's effect, and you're going to equip the Double Coos and the Mistleton. Alright? So we still don't have access to Phalanx, but we're still hitting all the same number requirements that we had previously. of two, uh, two tuners under Barca with another Mistleton uh, tossed under Barca so that we can use Leviton later, all that sort of stuff. Right? So what we're going to do from here is we're going to use the Ravine, we're going to discard the unknown card... This time we're going to add Phalanx from deck to hand, because we need access to it. Uh, otherwise we can't do the good ending board, right? So we're going to special both the Kooses. We're going to link a Koos away into Pisty. And then we're going to link the Leviton and the Halka Fibrax away into Triple Burst. And then we're going to use Pisty. And Pisty will bring back the Gator. And then what we're going to be able to do here is use Gatorg's effect to add a Morphage Lechery from deck to hand and then discard the Phalanx. And then the Phalanx will be able to be retrieved off of the Leviton that we're going to summon right now by banishing Barca, equipped with the Mistleton, getting the Leviton back, Leviton effect, equip Phalanx, special Phalanx with its own effect, and then we're able to sink the Phalanx and the uh, and the Gaederg away into Borlode Savage Dragon. And then once again, Borlode Savage Dragon is going to equip Romulus, so it has the better follow-through of being able to be banished for Leviton, should that need arise. And then what we have the capability of doing now is uh, we have uh, a Reed Bear, plus, uh, like, we, we're, we're short a Tuner, right, in this instance. In this instance, we don't have this Remus engraved, remember? This is without Remus. Uh, just Ravine, Coos. That is what this combo is, which statistically you will see more likely than Remus because of the fact that Remus is a three of and Ravine and Terraforming makes that a four of. Uh, but like, you know, and then you have set rotation and stuff like that. But anyway, if you're doing this combo without having started with Remus or an extender to make the play, you know, even better, then you are going to link the Pisty and the Triple Burst away into that old favorite of ours. Well, that old favorite of mine. Uh, that is now worldwidely legal because of Battles of Legend, Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel. This comes back into play in this version of the combo. And then you're able to link the Coos away into Guard Dragon Elpy. And then you're able to go Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel's effect, now locking us out of Link Summoning, getting back one of our tuners, one of the Cooses, and then synchroing the Coos and the Leviton away into a Reed Bear, right? Uh, in either of these two zones, it doesn't really matter. And then able to use Elpy to uh, summon the Goliath and then scale the Lechery. So off of Ducks, you're able to do the same combo that we're doing in like the standard, aka best, optimal versions of the Senatus hands, without any extender. Even if you're opening the lackluster tuner of Coos, you're able to do this. If you open Phalanx, the better tuner, you're able to do the other version, which is Heavenly Spheres. Now, if you opened with Remus... Discarding Remus for Ravine, you don't need to go into the Darkness Metal link because you have access to a free Dragon Extender in your graveyard, meaning that you don't have to go into the Darkness Metal link. So if I back this up to where we were before, where we had uh, this and this, 
and uh, this was back in the extra deck as well. These were on board. Um, like, we no longer need that extra card that the Darkness Metal Link gives us, because this is the point we're at. You're able to link the Kus away into the Elpy, just like we did before, and you're able to link these two away into Hieratic Seal, and then you're able to special the Remus, if that's what you started with for your Ravine, and then you're able to sink Remus and Leviton into a Reed Bear, uh, and then use the LP for Goliath. So you're able to course correct uh, if you open the suboptimal version of the combo, which is Ravine plus Coos. If the cards you used to get Ravine was Remus, uh, or if you have an extender, you can obviously do this combo. Um, without any uh op like any uh extra factor uh having to go into it if you open ravine coos plus extender you can obviously do this uh because you go down a different play line but i mean this video is already like getting like long as it is so i don't think i have enough time to show you <laughs> but anyway just normal summoning ducks no dedicated extender required gets you to these points and like that's actually just insanely good uh, ducks being able to allow you to step up, it literally is the ability that it allows you to step up through Needle Fiber, uh, through Halka Fibrax rather, because you're using minimal cards to make the combo possible in the form of just, you know, committing a normal summon of Druidity Ducks, and your throwaway link in all the Synodus combos was like making a second Romulus or making a Hieratic Seal, and then doing the Guard Dragon stuff below it, and then making Triple Burst, but... That was a throwaway link. You're sinking two resources into that and not getting any back. Whereas if you're making Halka Fibrax, you're sinking two resources into it, but then you're getting another card from your deck in the form of another tuner that sends your play line down a better direction. So, like, the Ducks combos are definitely nice. They're very nice. They're the easily some of the best combos in the deck. And this is only with me showing you what the combos do when you are building your deck in line to be able to use ducks combos and synodus combos you are very much capable of going down the routes of normal summoning ducks being uh, being uh, the samorg link plus union carrier so uh, apex avion infinite negates uh, and avramax like you're very very much capable of making that possible because ducks doesn't lock you into anything and the only card you'd have to worry about getting locked under is like Remus, because Remus has the same restriction as Sinidus, but if you're not using Sinidus, then it's literally just whenever you use Remus, that's when you get locked uh, for the rest of your uh, turn structure. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, Ducks is insane. Uh, easily, like, one of the most powerful singular normal summons in the game. <laughs> and I love it. It's literally, like, my favorite normal summon in the game. Uh, like, has been for years. And I've always been a little upset that Senatus kind of de facto replaced Ducks. Uh, but Ducks is just, like, superior to Senatus in how it applies itself into combos. Senatus is just superior to Ducks in being a consistency card, a consistency enabler. Because it's its own starter card. But anyway... Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Uh, I'm not going to show you any more in this video for the sake of it might be getting too long. Uh, because I could easily show you, like, Ravine Coos plus Extender, because that's the other version of the combo. But, I mean, I'm sure you understand the point. Like, you, you just, you structure it around to where you have the capability of having extra cards on the ending board that facilitate the use of going into LP and going into a Reed Bear. Um, like, Remus just is that Extender. Uh, if you start with it, so if you have a different extender that's not Remus uh, and turn it into a, like a true three card combo, um, then like that obviously is like you, you should be able to figure that one out with the information I've given you. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As I've already said, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, I need to start uploading more frequently. Uh, been battling with some depression as per usual, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, hashtag ducks for lux if you got it uh, this far in the comments and uh, I'll see you around thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual and take care I will see you in the next video hopefully where I'm showing you more stuff that ducks does